on IWTV News. Anniversary party. You're invited. It's already been a year. I think it just reinforces our purpose. Congratulations, graduates. They come and they go so quickly. Who said that? Okay, what's the next step? It shows me what schools also have bowling as well. Up and down. No, not COVID-19, but out on the course. Looking pretty good. From the campus of Iowa Western, you're watching IWTV News. Hello and welcome to our latest edition of IWTV News. I'm JJ Davis. Time flies when you're having fun. They were having fun at the Dr. John and G. Marshall Wellness Center. Where does all the time go? Looks good, doesn't it? The Marsh, or make that the Dr. John and Jean Marshall Wellness Center, has cooked up a celebration. Approximately one year ago, October 7th, the latest jewel in the Iowa Western Crown officially opened for business. I think it just reinforces our purpose of supporting students, student success, student well-being, and I think we are, you know, it's important that we play that role. Students love the, the facility for sure. Um, they often say, you know, we don't have this back home. We don't have this at the four-year college that I went to. And so it's, we're really fortunate. We're very lucky to have a facility. It's a facility vital for the growth of students in the classroom. It's a celebration worth signing in for. It's meant actually a lot to me, really. It's helped me grow as a person with the basketball courts, helped me get uh, cardio in, and the weight rooms helped me get bigger and to get where I want to be in my goals. Mainly the weight room has a good environment, good people to lift with. The people that are here and just everyone's so nice and just always asking if you need help or something, it's, it's really great. I love coming to work every day. I think the students love coming in here every day. And as long as we continue to do that, love what we do, make sure students enjoy their experience, I think we're gonna do great. And even better, considering some restrictions due to COVID-19, the Dr. John and G. Marshall Wellness Center serves up a one-year celebration. Looks good, doesn't it? The best is yet to come. Same can be said for the future here in Reaver Country. And now it's time for our COVID-19 update. The COVID-19 positive case data for the reporting period October 4th through the 10th. It includes approximately 5,100 full or part-time students, as well as 700 faculty and staff. Now, of the staff, two newly reported cases, zero recoveries, four active cases. The students, 11 newly reported cases, six recoveries, 17 active cases. Now, as I've said previously, this is pretty much verbatim from the latest memo sent out each week to all of us here at Iowa Western. The pandemic, of course, closely monitored here in Reaver Country. Almost time to take a swing at some long ball hitters. The pandemic has not stopped the Reaver golf team. Next up, a time for giving. And as always, they do when we come back. From the campus of Iowa Western, this is IWTV News. your will, but however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm, just wait, and move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up. <laughs> 
till they buckle up. Listen, you're my friend. I noticed you haven't really been yourself recently. Yeah, I feel like something's up. How are you? Are you okay? Is there anything you want to talk about? I just want to know how you're feeling. And listen, even if you don't know what to say, I'm here to talk. No matter what you're going through, I just want you to know I'm here. I've got your back. When you want to talk, I'm here. Yes, it happens every year around this time. The Red Cross pays a visit and Reber Country responds in blood. And this year is no exception. The Blood Mobile parks across from the Student Center for all to see. So let's see who steps up and gives. The world comes to Iowa Western. Nestled between some trees and cars, the American Red Cross throws out a lifeline. Reber Country answers the call. It's all about people. To have people donate it's blood. Awesome. Us. Great. We need some more, though. Come on in. And they do. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, only six people occupy the blood mobile at one time, including yours truly. It's made some restrictions on some of the places, but we still are forging forward, so we're good. Well, it's just a way for me to help out. I'm retired now, and I have some extra time so to help out um i know people need blood and also to like just do my part right now all right helping those people that are sick maybe surgeries that need the blood transfusions hard work my what do you think it says about iowa western to have them here every year I think it says a lot for Iowa Western to be able to set this up every year. It's all about giving. What do you notice about the students who come in and the other people? It's all about people. That they're willing to donate it's and it's great. Us. The campus donates 16 units of blood. Iowa Western once again answers the call. The American Red Cross and the world is forever grateful. And speaking of pretty good, how about some soon-to-be Iowa Western graduates allowed to bask in the glow a little bit? And why not? They've earned it. Bratfest 2020, standing tall October 6th and 7th in the Reaver Room. Goal for Gradfest is for students to come and they can talk to financial aid and if they want more information about deferring their loans, they can find, make sure that their name is going to be pronounced correctly. They can get an alumni t-shirt and then we'll take the video, uh, excuse me, take the picture for the um, video that we'll show in December. Before I went to school, I actually thought this would be easier than it is and now I feel like I can accomplish anything. 
I mean, not having a mom that actually went through college, it means a lot that I did more than what she could. Really? <laughs> I went back to actually prove my family that I could do it at a later age, so I'm finally going to get my diploma. Okay. Graduate, it means that I uh, succeeded in something that I worked really hard for. It's been a long time since I graduated from high school and it's been a long journey to get here as well. So it means hard work. I had one gal that she wanted to, she didn't want to write it herself, but she had me write. I wouldn't be where I was, with, where I am today without my dad. Um, and some of them are like, yay, I, I did it, I made it. Around 250 or so have made it applied for winter commencement. Approximately 45 sign in, get a t-shirt, and pose for a proud picture. GratFest 2020, it's as easy as... Man, I could go for some duds of milk right now. So what's next? Perchance get a job or pursue a four-year degree? Ah, but you've come to the right to place. Pens, pennants, pamphlets, people, they're all here, pining for a possible personal connection. The transfer affair is popular with soon-to-be Weaver graduates. The goal today is to help our students who are looking to graduate and leave Iowa Western um, decide where they want to go and transfer to continue their education. Oh, wonderful! A lot of students are trying to figure out uh, what their next step is, what they want to do for a career, so making sure that they're continuing their education in the right place. Fifteen colleges hoping to show their colors at the right place at the right time, presenting a picture with an eye on penning a transfer student or two. Students are often wondering, you know, how are you handling the pandemic and how, how am I going to succeed here? You and 5K the Kappa? Iowa Western does a good job of preparing their students, so uh, their advising staff here does a good job of, of letting students know what those prereqs are to prepare them for the university. Here's an admissions guide, you can kind of just flip back. Just talking to a good handful of students, honestly making those intentional conversations. So as long as we meet with at least a few students and make those intentional conversations, that's really what matters. What's most important to you when looking for another school? Um, affordability and quality of education is probably what I consider most. I've heard that they've got a lot of transfer scholarships that are available and uh, the business programs usually seem to be pretty good. We're actually starting um, a new program. Yeah, so I know that I want to go into more of a specified area of my major and so I'm looking to see what schools can help me do that. We hold two a year, one in the spring, one in the fall. Um, we're very successful with them. Our students really enjoy it. Kids from all around the area enjoying a possible glimpse at their future. Around 60% or so of Iowa Western graduates graduate to a four-year school. The transfer fair, fair game for all. And after all, the world is waiting. It makes me thirsty. Okay, what would you say about a hot cup of java? Coffee, that is. Okay, then what about a round of golf? That's right, the Iowa Western golf team is right on course after the break. felt hopeless. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. Because of you, I felt wanted and not alone in this world. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was going to be okay. I decided Iowa Western was a good fit for me because, first of all, the location. It was close to my home. 
Uh, the cost was another thing that was uh, that I um, considered. And I was also a single mom of two kids, so I needed to be able to be flexible. And the ladder program here allowed me to, if something were to happen, I were, would be able to stop and then come back and continue on if I needed to. The nursing program itself has been very successful, but if you look around the um, Iowa Western campus, I think Iowa Western itself has shown its success in the growth and the um, ex expansion and everything that they're doing. I think the best part is, I guess you could call it companionship. Uh, there's a lot of support from not only your peers, you become very um, lifelong friends with a lot of your peers, but also the nursing instructors uh, are there for you to help su support and help you with your success. What you learned in the classroom, so the lecture, the theory side of things, uh, would correlate to the skills lab, which then would in turn correlate to the clinicals that we went. So it was neat to see the bridges between the different areas and be able to see the big picture toward the end. Our hands-on experience that starts right from the beginning. From almost day one of the nursing program, you are either with our simulator, with the simulators or with the mannequins in the skills lab doing hands-on right away. And then within uh, eight weeks, you're out in the clinical sites out meeting real life patients. And what you learn in the uh, labs helps correlate directly to those patients. Nursing's always been near and dear to my heart. Uh, I feel like I wanted to make a difference. Um, I had my family, there were some nurses in my family, my mother, my grandmother, mother. but me personally, I wanted to be able to make a difference. Satisfying part is being able to be there for those uh, hard moments for those patients, being able to comfort, being able to console, being able to even celebrate in successes. I feel my experiences with Iowa Western were very gratifying. Uh, it helped me succeed in my life uh, further than I ever thought I would when I first started. Did you hear about the pony with a sore throat? He was a little horse. <laughs> Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> Why couldn't the pellet wait? Why was the basketball court all wet? Why? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. Where did cats go on vacation? New York. <laughs> Back out at Bentry and tell me when it's not windy. Every time, every round. And while most sports here in Reaver Country has been shut down, not the Duffers, baby. The Iowa Western golf team's been busy, 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 and in fact, doing quite well. The men's and women's golf teams have bagged a couple of wins right off the tee. Men's team won their first event of the year um, and then just won their most recent event at uh, an event hosted by DMAC. Um, and, and women picked up their first win at, at this event at DMAC as well. We got four, uh, four returning players from last year's team. Um, really one that saw a lot of playing time. We've got some players from kind of all over, um, some, some definitely some local players from the Omaha area, Grand Island. Um, a good player from Kansas City, and then also Scotland, England, Sweden, Canada. Um, so a pretty eclectic group. Our incoming class is a little bit stronger than last year, that's for sure. For certain, it seems like we have a lot more guys kind of challenging our top five. I really like it here. Uh, I like the weather in the, the spring and the fall. Uh, I do like the, the courses we're playing, Ben 3 here. It's phenomenal. Yeah, we've got two returners from last year, um, and so four, four new players, and so kind of about the same ratio 
Um, both of our returners were, were very key players last year. And again, kind of an eclectic group. We've got a girl from Scotland, a um, girl from Japan, a girl from England, and, and then um, three fairly local girls as well. A little more varied there. I think we have kind of different types of games on our women's team. Um, we have a couple girls that drive the heck out of the golf ball. Um, we've got a couple girls that are great around the greens, on and around the greens. Um, so they, they all kind of get it done in a different way. We have two good girls that can really drive the ball out there. Louisa and Sarah and Holly too, Holly too, yeah. It's different to back home because the weather's different and um, the courses are different as well, the way they lay out and stuff like that, but I like it. I think we have teams, both of our teams are talented enough and capable of, of really making some noise um, at a national tournament. Nationals are the rule and not the exception with this program. Yes, the pandemic has taken a swing at sports in Weber country, but not so out on the course. The Iowa Western golf teams are on course to finish high atop the leaderboard once again. And once again, what about the other fall and winter sports? Well, how about another reminder, thanks to the pandemic and COVID-19. At last report, the football season, baby, set to kick off March 25th. Both men's and women's soccer, April 2nd. Volleyball, January 29th. Basketball, a week earlier, the 22nd. Wrestling, January 20th. The baseball season steps in at the box, January 22nd. Softball, same deal. Indoor, outdoor track, January 18th, and golf, the 22nd. Say what? Yep, it's been crazy. Wait. Wait until just after the new year. Crazy, crazy, crazy. How many people go crazy if, if they don't get their coffee in the morning? Coffee break on campus on the other side. Here it is. This is where my passion is my major. With more than 80 areas of study, dozens of clubs and activities to choose from, and advisors who ask the right questions and offer support, it's easy to be you at Iowa Western. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. We have a gun. Why do you ask that, kiddo? Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there. What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs.
Schedule your campus visit today. Iowa Western, the world is waiting. You know, Iowa Western seems to be doing everything it can to make this unprecedented year somewhat normal, if that's possible for the kids. And seems like every chance Weaver Country gets, it takes advantage of things. And that's a good thing. Why, just ask the students. Hey, wake up and smell the coffee. It's on the corner of Stewart and Ashley Halls. It's just a little setup here for students to grab a cup of coffee on their way to class in the morning. This latest campus event is ready to pour from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Looking at, you know, different like national, fun little national holidays. Um, I believe about two days ago was National Coffee Day, but today is International Coffee Day. Oh, it's just like nice to just relax after class, get a coffee to re-energize. So, yeah. What's it mean to get a quick little pick-me-up? Um, I needed some energy and it's nice that it was there. I like it. It's uh, really nice that they do it for all of us. Uh, a little bit. My teacher told me that there was coffee out here and I didn't sleep last night so I kind of wanted some coffee. Fun little tables are just a way uh, to get students talking to each other in the morning. You know, they walk by with their friends and see this table and they're like, oh, what is that? Um, and then we can have different kinds of information on the table. You know, college students always gravitate towards food. Everyone close by gravitates to this bean counter. Reaver Country celebrates International Coffee Day, the cream of the crop on the corner of Stort and Ashley Halls. Good to the last. And so, after a cup of joe, another show, another in the know is done. In the books, finny, over. Ah, but it's fun, especially when yours truly continues not to get any sun. Casper the Friendly Ghost, here I come, until I believe just before Halloween. And so for this latest edition of IWTV News, I'm JJ Davis. As always, I'll see you around campus. IWTV is online. Like us, follow us, watch us.